But I like you being there. This is your best chance to get this done, guys. Y'all had this unit last year. And people keep saying y'all need one more piece. That one more piece is Caitlin. That's what y'all needed. Boston is the rookie of the year from last year. Mitchell is at the fourth in scoring in the, in the NCAA. Y'all picked Smith second in the 2022 draft. That's why she's upset that she's not getting the production that she used to because look what she got picked at. She was the third option on the team before Caitlin came. Now she's four. Look, girl, just think of it this way. You are an option. And I believe right now this is your best chance to win a championship with this team. Don't blow this shit. <laughs>
Wallace was in the game over her. She replaced Wallace and then stunk it up. And then her got in and did great, right? And then got better. See, they both entered in damn near playing and say, you know, I said she entered great. No, I was wrong. Her was not as good as she is right now on the back end. Do y'all concur? Because her was playing similar to Katie Lou. But during that break, I believe that she took some time with Caitlyn and they worked on their chemistry and she worked on her shot because she came back a beast. And not the same thing with Katie Lou. And I wouldn't expect that from Katie Lou because they wasn't that tight. Remember, Katie Lou's from UConn, but it might be some type of bias there to that. But she showed her ass in this game. Where has that been, Katie Lou? Because I know your mental is screwed with Because when her came back off of that break, she took your spot. That has to have done something to your mental. And you have not been able to get it back. You haven't been able to get it back. So now you go from getting into the starting role. And you probably was going to be the fourth option that's scoring on the team. Because they need you to shoot. And you've been bricking. You ain't been doing shit inside. You're not rebounding like you should do because you're tall. That's why Coach Sides put you in the game because of your height. But you're not living up to your height. You're not playing to your height. There's something that you're going to have to do and learn to do moving forward into the playoffs. Y'all got two days. The first game is sun uh, Sunday, guys. The playoff bracket is out. The shit is out, guys. What do y'all think is going to happen? What's y'all predictions? I got a bold prediction. I'm predicting the Aces versus the Fever in the finals. That's what I'm predicting. Sorry. And I believe this shit can happen. I believe it can happen if Coach Sides don't go out there and tinker with the lineups. Y'all actually drew the best matchup playing against the Sun. Because the last time y'all played them, it was after the Olympic break. It's when the team had time to gel and learn each other and play together. And y'all went out there and y'all won. I believe I could do that same thing again. And what, what the Sun didn't get to do is, right, they didn't get to beat y'all being y'all best team. This is y'all best team. Look, I know I said all that shit about Smith, but honestly, Smith is a good player when she's being consistent. And she did good in the game uh, uh, yesterday. She really did. I got to give it to her. She was hustling. She was out there hustling for the rebound. She hit her free throws. I think she missed one of them, but she hit her free throws. She actually turned her game around. I appreciate that. They went straight to her. First play of the game, Kaylin, first play of the game, passed uh, to Smith and she drove in and she scored. And the last, the other drive she did was she went under the basket, did a crazy looking ass layup. I'm glad it went in. I know you can play like that because I saw you when I went to the game. See, people think I don't like you because of the video I did. That's not what it is. I expect y'all to go out there and get this shit done right now because you didn't get it done when you didn't have Caitlin. I'm not saying that Caitlin is the reason why y'all are where y'all are right now because y'all need Mitchell. You need Boston. You need Hull. You need all of them. And honestly, you really don't get this shit done if you don't have Mitchell. Because Mitchell's the one that's a consistent scorer every damn night now. So this thing don't work without them. We need all of y'all on the same page. That goes for you too, Smith. I told you, if you go back and look at my videos, I like Smith. I like how she plays. It's just that she gets, she lets her opponent get into her head. Right? And then she start playing one-on-one -on -one basketball. We don't need that, Smith. We don't need that. We need you to score in the paint when you can. Grab rebounds. Don't you be out there shooting no damn threes. Your mechanics are terrible. I need you to get in the paint, get rebounds, and try to put back up the basket. Get offensive rebounds. Get a defensive re rebound. And kick it out to Kalen. Kick it out to Hub, Mitchell, so you can get that fast break going. That's what we need to see. We need to see you crashing the board, Smith. Guys got to get on the same page. I, I know what you, what you tweeted. I know you did. You saying it was fun while it lasted, as in, you know what? They stopped going to me. Why did they stop passing the ball to me? I was hot. That's what you meant. But that ain't how people going to take it. They going to take it as if your ass won't out of here. You won't out of here. And I can look at your body language. Sometimes you don't look like you want to be there. It's a place for you if you don't want to be there, Smith. But I like you being there. This is your best chance to get this done, guys. Y'all had this unit last year. And people keep saying y'all need one more piece. That one more piece is Caitlin. That's what y'all needed. Boston is a rookie of the year from last year. Mitchell is at the fourth in scoring in the, in the NCAA. Y'all picked Smith second in the 2022 draft. That's why she's upset that she's not getting the production that she used to because look what she got picked at. She was the third option on the team before Caitlin came. Now she's four. Look, girl, just think of it this way. You are an option. And I believe right now this is your best chance to win a championship with this team. Don't blow this shit. 
Because y'all will end up in getting this team divided and no telling where you're going to go to. No telling where you're going to go to. you damn sure not going to get what you want to get if you're not playing for this team because it, which, it's your role you have to play. Don't go out like Horace Grant. Please don't go out like Horace Grant. Smith, go get your rest of your rings. Don't go to Orlando. Don't go. <laughs> All right, guys, look. That is my time. That's my time. Coach Sasha needs you to get your shit together. Get your shit together. Get the hell up out of here. Seriously. Don't take it with the lineups. Use the lineup that you used to beat the Sun the first time that they played. Use that lineup. Because that lineup didn't beat y'all. That Sun lineup with Mabry over there, they did not beat y'all. The Aces beat y'all. Minnesota beat y'all. Nobody else has beat y'all except for those two teams. That's why I said they got a good chance of going to the finals. If they can get past Minnesota in the second round. The Ace, the Fever are going to win this first round, guys. They're going to win it. They are. Watch. Who you got your money on? It's up. The brackets, they're up. I'm going to put it somewhere in this thing, but they up, guys. Who do you think is going to win the championship? Who do you think is going all the way? What's your first round picks? You guys, thank y'all for tuning in. And phew, that video I but that video I put out there, man, if y'all haven't looked at it, go check it out for yourselves. It's rocking. It's rocking. And thank y'all so much for tuning in. Please, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Hit that notification bell so you know when your boy drops videos. I'm out this thing. Peace. Peace.